Hey everybody, Stippling Vaughn, and didn't think I was going to post a video today because I uh, went to the Garden State Comic Fest today. Had a lot of fun. We were only there for a short period of time because we had to get home uh, so my girlfriend could go to a bridal shower. But uh, just for the short period of time that I was there, uh, it was so worth it because Graham Nolan was there. And uh, as I told him, uh, I got into crowdfunding because of him and his work with promoting the Chanu and then Alien Alamo, which is what led me to uh, all the other uh, shows uh, on YouTube uh, that promote comic books and crowdfunding. Uh, it was great to see him, great to see Billy. Got to see my teacher, uh, Kim the Molder. That was really nice being able to see Kim. Uh, he was very, uh, I enjoyed him as a teacher. He's very supportive. And since graduation, he's been very supportive of my work uh, with doing all the stippling. So I also got to see uh, Jeff Johnson. Uh, Jeff Johnson, I even told him how I've been watching the show that he does uh, since he took over and that shows the uh, original uh, Drink and Draw Social Club. So uh, as soon as I saw him, I reached out my hand and I said, uh, <clears throat> Drink and Draw Social Club, Central PA Chapter, pleasure to meet you. And then uh, told him about how I do all my work here at the bar. So in fact, I mean, you guys can hear this bar is uh, busy right now, but so you can see, I mean, as always, working at the bar. And of course, remember, <clears throat> I have my own ass can for scat investigators. Uh, that's the page I'm working on right now. This is a page for scat investigators. Uh, you can hit me up my DMs uh, and uh, you can get it through PayPal. I'll provide you the email address. So, but yeah, I was talking to him. I even showed him some of my, my one of my videos and just talked to him about how I do all my work here at the bar. Uh, he said how it's like he has ish, he has uh, he doesn't draw a whole lot in public, like in a setting like this, because so many distractions. Where I told him I get into a zone when I'm out and about at the bar here. So it was a great, great day being able to talk to. Um, all the various professionals. So, like I said, we weren't there for, or for a long period of time. And what was really nice is uh, only there was only one long line. That was for uh, Walt Weezy, which, as you can imagine, they always have a long line. Walt and Louise always have a long line. They're great people. So. I uh, hope that uh, they're having a great show, and I hope afterwards they have a great time hanging out with all the other creators. I hope that uh, Graham Nolan is able to uh, make uh, uh, reach out and get more of those creators that are at the show to appear on his uh, storyteller show. I enjoy that show a lot, and I made certain that Graham knew that. So, uh, I'm, of course, having a blast right now, and just basically kind of like going off of a, uh, uh, you could say an emotional high, having talked to all the creators I did. Uh, Jan Durasima was there, and uh, I, she has a book available on Indiegogo and I was hoping she would have the book there at the show and she did so I bought it directly from her I told her when I bought it that I wanted I was hoping that she was going to have the book so I could buy it directly from her so she got all the profits instead of uh, Indiegogo getting their cut uh, so it was just like I said 
great, great time. And Billy, of course, was a pisser. Uh, my girlfriend hunts. So next thing you know, Billy and my girlfriend are talking about hunting. And uh, <laughs> just the... I, Billy, I think, was just ecstatic to be able to talk to someone other than comic book stuff. And he has such a great passion for hunting that uh, the two of them were just like, rrr, rrr, and I'm like, mm, just standing here. <laughs> so it was really a good time. So I know there's a lot of music in the background, and normally when there's this much music, I do not uh, talk. I will have a, I'll have a uh, no sound uh, episode. But I really wanted to uh, uh, tell you and express to you uh, how much of a joy it was to see them. Tonight I'll probably do another video and I'll uh, go through and uh, highlight and show you uh, not all the books I got signed, but the uh, books that I got signed that are standouts. Uh, I, we did things differently this year. Uh, normally when I go to the Garden Fest comic book show, um, the aisles are tight and you can't get through so I don't take my cart with me and so we didn't uh, this year they had uh, because they were in two rooms and when I say rooms are rinks like ice rinks uh, one is a cement rink and the other one is a ice rink so it was nice because there was it was more spread out you could really uh, weren't like on top of each other so but, but now just right now just going through and I guess I'm just I'm working on this and having so much fun I really spent a lot of time talking to uh, Jeff Johnson about uh, how I do my work here how I tune everything out uh, how sometimes I get lost and I don't realize what time it is and next thing you know I've got like five to eight text messages from my girlfriend asking uh, are you ever coming home I've made dinner or I'm making dinner and so it was just a very entertaining time um, we talked about his show I said how I gave him an idea I told him he, he needs to add an introduction to his show to start the show off so I'm um, hoping he's going to do some. He indicated from like the kind of like, you know, you know how like when you're talking to someone, you can throw ideas around. Uh, I th I'm hoping he'll use some of my ideas that I thought uh, he should incorporate for the intro. I think it would really add a lot to uh, the show. We didn't talk about whether uh, he's going to... Uh, reach the point of uh, monetizing the show. Uh, if anything, what he needs to do is he needs to talk to uh, Graham. And Graham would be the person to talk to you about uh, those things. But, uh, like I said, it was just very enjoyable. Uh, there was only a few artists that either they weren't there, uh, they had either priced themselves out of the window for me to ask for pay for a signature and or we just didn't have time because we were on a time constraint uh, next and we originally weren't going to have a time constraint just at the last minute she got this invite for the bridal sh for the wedding shower and I know she wanted to go to it so hence uh, we didn't do a full day at the show, and that's okay, because uh, that's one reason why I'm here today. And I didn't think I was going to post a video at all today, but I'm very fortunate I was able to. So, Plus, also, I had them do a makeup because I didn't post anything last weekend except for Monday. So... But, so, and I, Kim, Kim DeMolder was really impressed with how 
uh, everything I'm doing is with the 102. I don't do and Jeff Johnson when he saw I was when I showed him the one of the videos, the beginning of the video, he himself was also surprised that uh, I do all my work with uh, just a 102. So, but I mean, it's you work with the tool that gives you the effect that you want. So. It was just a great time. And next year, I think we're going to definitely set that day aside. We will uh, uh, probably go up early again, but what we'll do is we'll take a break during the middle of the day and go out to eat somewhere and then come back. Because when we first got there, uh, there really wasn't anybody there. In fact, they actually were letting us in before 10 o'clock, which was nice. So, but please make sure to remember to uh, like and surprise, like, subscribe. Uh, feel free to leave a comment. It always helps. So, let's see here. Yeah, I'm working on uh, a little creature, a quarter creature. And, all. and then we got the mummy guy up here. Got a jack o' lantern. I uh, got a kind of Mr. Hyde thing going on here. And then we got Frankenstein and his bride. So, having fun with this piece. So, uh, moving forward, this will be the piece you guys will be watching as I do work. Uh, like this, it's going to be a, a fun piece. It's one of those pieces where uh, the one of the characters is reading something and their imagination is taking over as to what they envision when they're reading so I'm going to head out and get back to work here so hope you enjoyed this video and uh, please remember life is stressful just take it one dot at a time